Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, this boy's just country strong. Country Strong is a 7.2% American IPA from the Mitten Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mitten Brewing Company has been around since 2012, and I first went there in 2015 on a West Michigan beer trip with my buddy Dave. It was one of our last stops of that trip, and honestly, I wish we would have been able to stay there a lot longer. The entire brewery is baseball-themed. I love baseball. It's an old-fashioned, uh, old firehouse, and when I hear the name of this beer, Country Strong, it makes me think of the Detroit Tigers announcer, an all-time great... Rod Allen. I was in communication with Mitten to bring this one to the channel, but they've barely been able to keep up with demand, so thankfully I was able to find this locally. Let's take a look at the can here. We'll jump into what's inside the can afterwards. So this is a really cool label. It's got this SC for, well actually CS, Country Strong, and it looks like a baseball logo you'd find like on maybe a White Sox hat or a Yankees, like an old school baseball logo with the two letters of the team, you know, the, the first name of the team, second name of the team, all that stuff. Across the top here, it says the Mitten Brewing Company, Country Strong, the name of the beer, American IPA. It has the ABV information, 7.2%. Let's you know, established in 2012. Basically, all the stuff I just ran down in my intro here. And on the side of the can here, it says a crisp golden American IPA showcasing bold hop flavors that remain on the tongue between sips. This a is country strong and uh, other than that it just says that this was um, brewed and canned by the Mitten Brewing Company uh, in Grand Rapids gives the address 540 Leonard Street of course it has the uh, government warning and it says canned in the hand loved in the glove and so true so it has the independent beer label on the side here we're just gonna grab a regular pint glass this is a 12 ounce can so it's probably not gonna fill this glass, but we'll do our best. Let me give this a pop. Gonna give it a smell. It's a little bit more fragrant than most uh, IPAs. This is American IPA, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit more on the stronger end, a little bit more on the hoppier end than an IPA. But yeah, it's a little bit more fragrant. Let's give it a, let's give it, actually it smells kind of malty. That's the fragrance I'm kind of picking up, but let's pour it. Nice and golden yellow out of the can. Beautiful golden color poured out, nice and clear. Make sure we get that right in the front there. Yeah, this is not a hazy beer. It's a little bit on the thicker side. There's a little bit of particulate. It's got some nice uh, bu bubbles kind of streaming up here. A nice head, nice white, bright white head. And let's give it a better smell. Yeah, I seem to be picking up really faint citrus. It, like I said, it kind of has like a bit of a malty smell to it. Maybe lemony? I'm getting this like really slight citrus, bright citrusy smell to it. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah. Definitely like a crisp, malty kind of taste up front. Kind of like a dry taste and then it subsides, hits that kind of crestier of your tongue, and this is really dry, bitter, hoppy bitterness. What hoppy bitterness is this? So let's give it another taste. Kind of more of a piney bitterness to it, but it's really dry tasting on the end. So the malt, the maltiness is really, kind of nuanced. It's not very super strong. It kind of, it comes through a little bit on the beginning, on the intake, and then when it hits, again, the crest of your tongue, right, when it hits that point of no return, it kind of brings up that piney bitterness, but also this really dry finish. Um, let's give it one more taste. I like it actually very much. Too Hearted is my favorite IPA. Um, Ellison does their Crescent Fresh has a little bit more of a maltiness than this has, but this has a little bit more of a subdued maltiness and it's really, it's really subtle. It really kind of just kind of comes in on that back end. You get the piney bitterness, the hoppiness, 
But again, you pick up the, on that maltiness right at the very beginning. When it hits the crest of your tongue, you don't really get that. When it kind of goes down, you don't really get it. And then on the aftertaste, it kind of livens back up, right? It kind of clicks back in there. And you pick up that maltiness just a bit. It has kind of a piney, dry, kind of cedary aftertaste and finish. And it's just really different. And I really like that. I like my IPAs to be a little bit more on the malty side. And a lot of them don't seem to do that. They want to, especially obviously West Coast don't really do that. You don't get a whole lot of maltiness out of it. It's almost all bitter. And this is kind of a hybrid. You get a little bit of a West Coast. You get a little bit of that piney finish, but you also get that dry maltiness at the end. And it just, it makes for a really unique kind of taste. And this is 7.2%. This is pretty strong, I, I mean, I think. I still think anything over 6% is pretty strong, to be perfectly honest with you, but it's it's strong, it is country strong, and uh, yeah, wow, that, that it's a nice, unique kind of package. It's, it's different than all the other stuff that I've had lately, so for that, I just gotta give Mitten big props on, on going a little bit outside of the norm and adding that kind of maltiness to it. That's what I like to see in a beer, so for me personally, I think this one is... In the words of, of using a baseball terminology, it's a home run. It's one that I would drink again. All right, friends, this has been Country Strong from Mitten Brewing. If you're in the Grand Rapids area, definitely check Mitten out. I'm also going to be on the lookout for their Peanuts and Cracker Jacks, which is a robust porter. What are some of your favorite small Grand Rapids breweries? If you've been to the Mitten, give them a shout out. Let me know all about it in the comments down below this video. While you're down there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your beer buds. I'm here twice a week bringing you great beer from around the Great Lakes State. So stay tuned for what comes up next. You can also find links to my social media like my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Right down here below the, in the description of this video, you can find a link to some new merch like this shirt I'm wearing today and a link to my blog at drafttherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.